This was Scarlett's favourite place. Um, Emma O'Farrell is talking about her dog, Scarlett, an eight-year-old Bernese Mountain dog. The family was moving back to the UK, and Air Canada bookings for large animals must be made through pet transportation companies. Worldwide animal travel promised to handle all transport logistics. Cost, $4,800. It was a 30-hour journey for Scarlett, including wait times at the Toronto and London airports. When she arrived in the UK, she was unable to walk, basically. Emma saw through a video chat app that her husband had to carry the dog into the house. The company told the family to give Scarlett some time to recover. Two weeks passed, no improvement. Emma's husband took the dog to a local vet. He actually signed the euthanasia um, papers that evening. The family was heartbroken when it was recommended Scarlett be put down. The O'Farrells can understand what happened. Scarlett did take medication for arthritis, but prior to her trip, she had to have a checkup here at her local vet clinic and was declared fit to travel. In an email to Go Public, Worldwide Animal Travel said Scarlett was tendered to the airline, she flew, and arrived safely at London Heathrow Airport. Air Canada told the O'Farrells that the dog was unsteady getting out of the kennel, but no other health issues were flagged by British authorities. There's only a handful of incidents. A spokesperson for the International Pet Travel Association says 2.2 million animals fly in a typical year. Complications are rare. If the dog passed a health exam and it was in good health when it was transported, there shouldn't be an issue. O'Farrell acknowledges that the journey may have been too much for an older Bernese and wants other pet owners to think twice before shipping a pet overseas. But I would never want another family to have to go through what we've had to go through. $5,000 later, few answers and no dog. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.